guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing a full cream look so I have all creams on my face except for a little bit of powder in my t-zone so this is something a little bit out of my comfort zone not something I do a lot but I've been kind of dabbling into cream makeup here lately so I wanted to come on here and show you guys what products I'm using how I'm using them uh, even the eye is a cream eyeshadow look so definitely a little something different than what I usually do here, but I'm loving it. So I also did a brow tutorial for you guys. So I've had a couple requests for it and I wanted to just go ahead and throw it in this video since I really wasn't doing a lot. Um, and it was a super kind of quick video. I did chat through it, so of course it's not quick for you guys, but once you get the hang of it, it's super quick to do. And this is kind of an everyday look for me. So yeah, if you guys like this look and want to see how I do it, continue watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share with all of your friends. And I will see you guys in just a second with a bare face, and we will get to showing you how I do this look. So when I wear all cream, I make sure I prep my skin very well with primer. So I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, this guy right here. And then I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Glow Lotion. Um, any dewy primer this gives a little bit of hydration and this fills in pores i just like to do that because if i'm not setting with powder i can't really go and blur any areas where i have pores so i'll make sure i use a pore filling to kind of help with that since i'm not going to be wearing a lot of powder so i'm going to go in with the glow lotion first and i'm going to rub that all over just to give a little bit of hydration and some glow to the skin so we have like a natural dewy finish. Now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm going to take a good bit of that and press that into my T-zone or wherever I have pores to kind of mattify and fill in all of those imperfections over pimples and everything like that just to give more of a smoother base. So next I'm going to go in with foundation. I am technically using a BB cream today and I will use a concealer to further give any coverage to any places on my skin that needs it. But I'm going to go in with the Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream and this has SPF 30 in it. And I have mine in the shade Medium. And I'm going to be applying this with my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush. Um, this is the number seven, the dual ended one. And I'm just going to be taking it on the back of my hand and applying it straight to the skin, giving a little bit of coverage, nothing crazy. I don't want it to be heavy. Just have a little bit of something on my skin. Okay, so now that I have all of that blended in, I'm going to go in with the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination in the shade Light, and I'm going to be using this as my concealer. So I'm going to be covering any pimples, dark circles, really anything that that BB cream didn't cover up for me or where I want a little bit more coverage. That BB cream does a pretty good job at covering, so I don't have too much to cover, but I have some really bad zits on my chin that need to be covered. So I'm going to warm that up on the back of my hand and then go in with my finger and press wherever I have any breakouts or anywhere where I just want a little extra coverage. And I'll start blending that out with my finger. Anywhere where I have more things to cover like my chin, I'll let that sit a little longer just so I can get a little bit more coverage. This is pretty high coverage anyway, but just to ensure I'm getting as much coverage as possible, I'll let it kind of sit there and dry just a little bit so that uh, I get a little bit more coverage and they'll cover for me because sometimes they're harder to cover. I'm going to take the other end of the It Cosmetics brush and I'm going to buff that all out. Okay. 
Okay, so now that I have all of that blended out, I am going to start on my eyebrows. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little closer so that you can see better what I'm doing. Okay, now that you guys are all up close and personal, I am going to start on my eyebrows like I said. And first, I'm going to start off with the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Pencil. Ugh, I don't know what shade this is in. I think it's neutral brown, but it's just a skinny little brow pencil. So it has a really fine tip on it. And what I usually do is last night I freshly shaved my eyebrows like around them and cleaned them up, plucked them, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go in and brush up and kind of get them where I want them placed. And then I'm going to take that pencil and I'm going to start on the bottom of my eyebrow. Kind of following the natural shape and then kind of thicken wherever I want a little bit more. I like a straighter brow. So I fill a lot right in this area and kind of around it here. So you can kind of see I have my outline on that eye. Kind of my natural, but I just filled in a little bit more where the arch is. And then I will do the same to that other eyebrow. So what I do on one, I do on the other. I kind of do them back and forth so that I can get more of an even brow they're not going to be perfect but the more even the better and I kind of lift my eyebrows up so that I have a straighter more like taut uh, surface to work on and you can see this brow kind of comes down a little bit more right here so I kind of have to do a little bit more work on this eyebrow this one also I don't know if you can tell this one kind of comes up a little bit more so I have to straighten that one out a little bit more. This is my bad eyebrow, so I spend a little bit more time on him. I like a stronger brow, so do what you want. You don't have to do as strong of a brow as I do, but I do like a pretty strong eyebrow. So then I will take my spoolie again and kind of brush through. So now that I have my outline done, um, I have a freckle here that really makes it look like I've drawn out the lines and never looks perfect. So I'll clean it up with concealer later. So now I'll go again with that pencil and do my top. And really I just follow my natural up here, but on the tail I don't have much. So I kind of round it here and then pull down into my tail. So kind of like that. This eyebrow is a little thicker, so I have to be a little more careful with this one because it can start to look really thick if I fill too awful much. So they look kind of crazy right now. So again, I'm just going to go in and brush it to soften the lines. And just kind of as I go, I go in and perfect anywhere that needs a little bit more work. I try to keep the front of my brows pretty soft. So try not to do too much there just yet. And I always have a mirror in front of me and a mirror like I have it behind you guys technically just so I can make sure it looks good from far away and from up close. So I'll kind of fill this tail in just softly kind of messily because I always want that to be my darkest. And then again, just go in and brush it out. Okay, so next I usually go in with a pen. So I have two here. I have the Milk Makeup Kush Triple Brow Pen and this is in the shade. I'm not sure the shade on this either. It says MJ on the bottom. I'm not sure what shade it is. And then I have the Urban Decay Brow Blade and this is in the shade Dark Drapes. So this is when I had my eyebrows a little darker because of my hair. So I will do the last touches with this pen, but I'm going to start with the Milk Pen. And I do most of this in the front, so I'm going to take it and kind of flick up.
you can see it's just a tad lighter than the pencil and it's a little crazy right now I go in and clean them up with concealer later and since my foundation is still wet I can kind of go in with my fingers and kind of clean whatever up that I need to clean and then I will go in with a light amount of the Urban Decay one and this is a really like thin pen it's almost like a belt tip sharpie and I go in and I just flick especially in the front I want to create those brow hairs and I'm barely touching my skin since it's a really dark color and then I kind of go in to that arch and fill that in just a little bit more so you can see the front of that looks a little bit hairier so repeat on the other side so now that i'm kind of happy with them i will take a little bit more of that it cosmetics concealer you can do the foundation whatever you want to go back in with I take a tiny 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 bit of this and I'm going to work it on this professional eyeliner brush from elf I use it to clean up my eyebrows and I get some on one side of the brush and I go under and start kind of cleaning up that bottom line I like the bottom of my brows to be very crisp and clean the top I like to be a little bit more out of control kind of like that bushy brow I think if you keep the top more bushy and the bottom cleaned up, it looks a little bit more purposeful messy rather than just being like, you went in kind of crazy and don't really care. And that's just my personal preference. I like to have, like I said, the bottom of it cleaned up just a little bit. And I'll kind of make that tail a little pointier so it doesn't do like a whole lot but i can always tell if i don't do it i don't like my eyebrows as much so i used to clean up the whole entire eyebrow and i just feel like that made it look a little too sharpied in and believe me i used to love that but not much anymore so now that I pretty much have my eyebrows done, I will come back to them later on and put some eyebrow gel in them. But I kind of wait until I'm done with my face in case I use, you know, a lot of powder or anything. If anything gets in it, I can kind of fluff it away, make sure they don't look super ashy or lighter than what I want them. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Stick, and this is in the shade Baked. So I'm going to use this as my cream bronzer. So days where I'm doing a more simple look, like today, I do not like to go in with a contour. I like to be more bronzed rather than contoured out. So I'm taking this on a tart brush, just a flat, dense brush, and I'm going to work the product onto the bristles and then apply to where I want it placed. So my temples, forehead area, cheekbones. And this looks like a lot, but this stuff blends out so nicely. I love this bronzer stick. They have another shade too. I think they have a darker shade. This one's what, baked? I forget what the other one's called. But if this one doesn't work for you, they have a darker one. I don't think they have a lighter one. I only think they have two shades. But I love this. And with a little, like, you don't have to use as much as I do if you're fairer than I am. You can go in with just a little bit and it'll still give you that really nice bronze. So now I'm going to go in that I have, so now that I have a product placed, I'm going to go in and blend that out. I like to do more tapping motions just so I don't pick up any foundation. This doesn't do that, but I'm always just careful 
to make sure I don't pick up any of that foundation. So I just kind of tap and blend it out. And you can see, blend it out like a flippin' dream. I love this stuff. And then I'm going to take just a little bit more on the sides of my nose. Like I said, not contouring, just bronzing. So anywhere where the sun would naturally hit you, so that would be like the bridge of the nose, across the cheeks, of course your forehead. And if, when I have less product, I'll kind of go in on my under eyes since that concealer is a little lighter so I don't look super pale under the eyes and bronzed everywhere else. So you can see that just gave a little bit of color back to the skin. Next for blush, I'm going to go in with the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in the shade 110 Nude Flush. And with this guy, I pop it out on the back of my hand and I use the same brush for this and I work it on the back of my hand and get it into that brush and then apply to the cheeks. And I always start off very softly and I'll add as I go just so I don't have too much product at once. I can really make sure I can blend it out and you know get exactly the color and payoff I'm looking for. And again, kind of go when I don't have any more product and just tap out. So now I'm going to move into liquid highlighter. Liquid highlighter is one thing I'm not a huge fan of. I don't really dabble into many different brands. I have a couple, um, but for today I'm going to go in with the Profusion Liquid Highlight. And then why does nothing say the shade name? I'm, I don't know what the shade is. I don't have the shade name for anything. So I'm going to take it on my finger and tap onto my cheekbones. And I feel like liquid highlighters apply best with your finger. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. And I'm going to be very strategic with where I place this. Usually, I set my whole entire face with powder, call it a day, and that's about it. But I'm going to make sure I don't have too much on the brush, kind of shaking it off. And I'm going to put it on my chin. So I feel like your chin can really like make you look greasy. And then my smile lines, kind of up into the nose, the sides of the nose. You can see that mattified just a little bit. So a little there and then the forehead. And I kind of use the other side of the brush just to diffuse it out. So now the center of my face is set and I'll do a little on the inner corner of the eye. Nothing crazy because I feel like when you have cream products, it's really easy during the day to go back in and just kind of buff any creases out. But then I have still that really nice glow everywhere else. Since we wear masks, I will do a little here, but I'm keeping those cheeks very dewy. So that is it for the powder. So now I'm just going to go in with the e.l.f. Wow Brow, and I think this is neutral brown, and set my eyebrows. So now I'm going to start on the eyes and I have you guys zoomed in so you can see just a little bit better on what I'm doing. I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow stick. It's by Trace Steak, I think. I'm really not sure how to pronounce it, but it is in the shade Tahitian Shimmer. This is an eyeshadow pencil. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, but once you blend it out, you really can't see it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this really at my base of my lashes. So it looks a little crazy, but I'm going to take a Tarte blending brush and start kind of wiggling it back and forth to blend it out. So now that I kind of have that blended out, I am going to draw another line in kind of almost wing shape. I have a little more of a downturn die, so I like to lift it. So with this, I'm going to kind of buff up and out. And I'm using a pretty big fluffy brush because I don't want anything too precise. Nice thing with cream shadows, you can kind of go in and clean it up with your finger too. So and I'm just going to kind of blend it into that crease. That's kind of what we're working with. And then I'm going to take it on the bottom lash line, right on that outer corner. And again, I want that fluffy brush and just wiggle back and forth. And then I'm going to take the NYX. It is so little, I need to buy a new one. This is the Slide On Glide On pencil and this is in the shade Brown Perfection. And I am just going to run this right at that outer corner in that wing shape for a little added depth. So kind of like that, looks kind of crazy. Okay, so I'm switching brushes and I'm using this little Luxie mini flat angled brush. And I'm just going to buff that other color out, that eyeliner. Not being really perfect or anything. Then I'll just kind of fluff back and forth with that first brush. And then for the last eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with the Ace. I'm not sure if it's Ace Beauté, Ace Beauty, Ace Butte. Not really sure what it is, but it is a glimmer shadow in the shade Iced Latte. So it's a really pretty kind of gold bronzy color. And again, with the same brush, so you really don't need a lot of brushes for this look. Just going to kind of swirl my brush in there and I'm going to put this right in that inner corner and kind of brush over just to add a little bit of shimmer. So next I'm going to go in with my Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara and I am just going to coat my top and bottom lashes. You can definitely wear falsies with this if you want. Okay, so that is the eyes complete. So like I said, you can put falsies on, really whatever you decide, since this is more of like a easy, just run out the door kind of look for me. I don't really put falsies on, but that is totally up to you what you decide you want to do. You can always just go in with a lip balm completely. We're wearing masks, you don't really need to wear a lip, but I did want to provide a lip for you guys. So if you want to wear a lip balm, throw that on, you're done. Usually what I would do, but since I wanted to do a lip for you guys, I have my LA Girl Lip Liner in Natural Cream and this Milk Makeup Kush Lip Glaze Gloss and again, there's Nova. I think it's in the shade Nova, I'm not sure. But I love Milk's packaging, I think it's so cute. So I am just going to go in and outline my lips. Nothing super crazy, I'm not really overdrawing them today. And then I'm going to go in with the Milk Lip Gloss. And 
and that is the lip completed so i'm going to pull you guys out and show you the finished look so this is the completed look you guys i hope that you enjoyed it um all creams a little bit of powder all creams on the eyes um no falsies super simple lip can replace it with of course a balm if you guys want to but I really just kind of wanted to do something a little different than what I usually do. I've been wearing more creams here lately, so kind of wanted to do a full look on it in case you guys love creams and want to wear, you know, a full cream look. Um, and then of course I showed you guys how I do my eyebrows, which I haven't done in a really long time. So yeah. This is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share with all your friends. Um, let me know if there's anything you guys want to see down in the description box. Message me, whatever your heart desires. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!